Hello, this is Silvio with High Rise Industries again. Today we in Baldwin Harbor for another Helicopal project. We started here yesterday. This house is uh, near the water by the bay. And we're going to be installing 21 helical piles. So a few bump outs that this house is going to have towards the front house and the back. This house was uh, a little bit flooded during Hurricane Sandy about two years ago. And now the homeowner here, the new homeowner, bought this house as an investment. And he's fixing it all up, making it bigger to the sides, the front, the back. And it's going to be his personal uh, personal house for him to live in. So, as you can see, we started here. We installed some of our pilings already. Now, later on, we're going to be doing our formwork. Some of my guys are about to pre-cut the plywood. And also cut the, uh, the chairs, lifting up the rebar. Let me go around the back, and we're about to install last few as you can see there's a beautiful setting by the water this house took on three feet of water during Hurricane Sandy and it doesn't have to be lifted but it needs helical piles to secure the new bump outs the new great beams into the new the new foundation as well okay Got a few more here. You guys get the idea. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of footage that we shot here yesterday. We did some helical piles inside the house with this, with this machine. And uh, it's just a little bit, a little bit different installation. One more time to view. Okay, let me go back inside. Okay, walk inside the house. We'll be doing some uh, helical piles installations. Okay, we began here a short while ago. And we installed one piling on here already for load support. Okay, I'm going to turn around and you guys could see that we have to saw cut the slab, chop it up. Okay. 12 inches or more thick and the same thing on this side here I'm going to come across and three piers low bearing walls okay this house is going to be resupported above I don't know if you guys could see it there's another one there right there maybe and we just stop for a little break and we're installing in here there's our machine inside this house okay our mobile machine very versatile and a little bit better with a handheld unit come across so this is our project I'm gonna get going finish and I'll shoot a little bit outside when we're finishing up. Thank you. Okay, back in the front. It's our third day. We're finally uh, getting it done here. Well, our formwork is done. Just finalizing the uh, last piece of rebar for this great beam. I'm going to go around the project. Well, our formwork is in, the rebar is there. Our helical piles have been capped with power caps. Okay, these are called new construction power caps that you see right there. And we're just wrapping this up. Our footings have been formed, rebar is in. We just have to wait and hope that the inspection will pass. All the local piles, piles pass the certification. 
and then we can pour concrete. A small job, a couple bump outs off the house. Okay, like I said in the beginning of the video, the homeowner is bumping out this house, making it bigger. And now these great beams require hill piles to be so adjacent to the water. Okay, future flooding. We don't want uh, these foundations to lift or heave. We will be well, be well supported. Your piles. Okay, this is the end of the project. As always, you can watch us on YouTube, put our videos, and you can follow us as well on Facebook. There we can keep a, uh, an update of our current projects. Thanks for watching. I see you soon in the next little piling job. Thank you.